Get ready for your daily dose of WordPress and web development tips, tricks, and insights to help you find success with WordPress. You're listening to WP the Podcast with your hosts, David Blackman and Tim Streifler. Hey, everybody. Welcome to another episode of WP the Podcast brought to you by WPGears.com. I'm David Blackman. And I'm Tim Streifler. Today on episode 656, we're going to talk about how you can juggle work life and home life when you work at home with your family. Obviously, Tim and I have been working from home for quite a few years, so nothing really new to us. But the world, unless you're living under a rock, has changed drastically with COVID-19 in the last six months, where Pretty much everybody's working from home, or a large majority of them are now. And guess what? Kids aren't in school, husbands working from home, wife's working from home, or I guess I should just say spouse is working from home, because you never know. Um, so everybody's in the same place. So, And I know that Tim has said that, you know, it was an adjustment for him to have Courtney at home all the time while working. He's typically used to having... You know, his time, his space, his working. She's uh, a nurse practitioner, you know, working at the doctor's office or the hospital. And it was even an adjustment for Tim, you know. And it's Tim, Courtney, and Murphy, soon to be Tim Jr. Or, <laughs> you know, they're going to have a baby really soon. We don't know. I'm calling it Tim Jr., Tim. I'm, I'm going to call it. So. That's funny. Well, <laughs> <laughs> even if it's a boy, it will not be Tim Jr. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're excited for the new edition regardless. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, no, and it and it has been adjustment. Um my wife at uh, maternity leave now and stuff and um and as David mentioned, being at working from home for 5 years, I, I have fully adjusted to that, but I'll, also I've, I've been able to adjust having all the space to myself and so having uh, my wife here and then soon to be baby here, it'll definitely be an adjustment. Um, and so I've been kind of thinking through some ways cause my office is on, we have a two story house, but my office is on the first floor and that's where ever, we've spent all of our time. That's where the family room is, the kitchen is and everything. And so my office is like right here where everything else is. And so I'm like, should I soundproof the door <laughs> you know, so I can get work done? Cause my door, it's like, my wife could be watching TV in the next room. And even though my doors are shut, they're French doors and there's like a huge gap in between them and, uh, or not in between them, uh, uh, between the door and the floor and stuff. So I think I might look into some ways to soundproof, but yeah, I, I think really it, when, you know, talking about this episode, how to juggle work life and home life when you work at home, I think something that's really important is, is having a separate area that you work and you only do work and you don't use it for personal space, you know, for, uh, relaxing. Um, and so when you're in that area, you're working, your family knows you're working and that's like your area, preferably if it's a separate room that you can shut the door, but that's not always a luxury that everyone has. But if you can still have some area off to the side in a room, that's not, you know, as crowded when you have your family at home, that can be hugely beneficial. Absolutely. I think another thing that's really, really important is have dedicated working hours, you know, letting your your spouse, significant other, kids uh, to know that, you know, hey, this is this is when I work. This is when I can't be disturbed unless it's an emergency. You know, everybody kind of gets used to you know, oh, it's work time now for dad, you know, um, and he's got to go into his office and he's got to do his thing. Because I'll tell you, um, recently my 24-year-old came back to live at home with me. You know, I invited him. He's going to be working with my company. He's going to be learning how to do some things with uh, online marketing and video editing. He may even be doing some Editing for our show, who knows, you know, with things that Tim and I do in the future and stuff. But anyways, I can tell you it was an adjustment for me. It's my son. We bond. We're really close. We like to hang out and do things together. Uh, but, you know, when you're used to having that space all to yourself and kind of doing your own thing, which is 
That's how I was, just the same as Tim. You know, I had no one here during the daytime. Well, when you have someone else, it is an adjustment. It, it did kind of, you know, kind of set me back a little bit until I, you know, figured out what I needed to do. And, and for me, it was just setting good, healthy boundaries, you know, uh, setting up the expectations of what's okay, what's not okay. Because like right now, we're recording a podcast episode. I'm in my office. My door is closed. That's one of my rules. You know, hey, if the door is closed, that means please don't disturb me because I'm doing something like recording product videos, podcast episodes, or something where I can't really focus on a person if they come into my office, unless it's an emergency. If my door's open, which typically I leave my door open, my office is soundproof. It is on the other side of the house, and I don't typically have to worry about hearing the TV and stuff because it's on the other side of the house. So they know that if my door is open, I'm accessible. It's okay. They can come in. They can interrupt me and stuff, and they can ask questions or, or do whatever needs to be done. But you're going to have to figure out what works best for you as far as, like, setting those boundaries, those expectations, um, dedicated office space, dedicated working time and stuff. And, you know, don't be a workaholic and work all the time, you know, because guess what? Your family needs you to, you know, especially if the kids are home. You need to realize that their lives are disrupted. Their lives have been disrupted. They're not in school. They're used to hanging out with their friends and stuff. And they've not been able to, especially the last few months with all of the lockdown stuff. So it's been a, a huge adjustment, not only for you, but it's also been a huge adjustment for them. So try to remember that, you know, try not to get frustrated. Try to understand that their lives for the most part have been turned upside down as well, you know, and they're, they're, they're having to make adjustments too. So I think Working together, communication is really, really important. Um, and just, you know, good old-fashioned, you know. Yeah, great advice. Golden rule, you know. Uh, treat treat others as you'd like to be treated, you know, that, that kind of thing. So, No, I don't think so. I think uh, just expect that there is a, a, a season of adjustment, right? It doesn't happen overnight. It, it will take time, as does any major life transition and so be flexible so yeah and if worst case worst do what i did and i'm trying to talk my 24 year old son into starting a father-son youtube channel with me <laughs> turn it into something fun you know y'all do something fun together where it's outside of the scope of work and stuff so yeah all right tomorrow we've got another great episode tim until tomorrow we'll see you then Take care. Bye-bye. We've come to the end of today's episode of WP the Podcast. Join us tomorrow for more daily tips and strategies designed to help you run your WordPress business towards success. Remember to subscribe to WP the Podcast so you can stay up to date with each episode. And don't forget to rate and review us. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on WP the Podcast.